Alright guys, so there's currently a glitch inside of Roblox Jailbreak that basically allows you to get the old Volt Bike back. And probably the best part about this glitch is it's actually incredibly easy to do. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into this. I'm going to go ahead and escape jail here so I could show you guys. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do for this glitch to work is you're going to want to come over here to the town to get a Volt Bike. It should cost about $1 million unless they've changed the price, which they probably wouldn't have because it's still at the $1 million dealership. But now once you got yourself a volt bike, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and set a waypoint for up here at the top of the mountain where the jetpack spawns. If you guys aren't aware, basically a few updates ago, they changed this whole mountain layout and now the jetpack spawns up here as well, which is actually a really nice spot for it. But yeah, once you're up here, you guys could see my waypoint was right here and there's the jetpack. What you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're just going to go ahead and equip it. Now, once you have the jetpack, what you got to do in order to actually do this glitch is you got to get on the Volt bike while you're actually using the jetpack. So basically what you do here is you got to go ahead and use the jetpack like I said, and then you got to come down just low enough to get on the Volt bike. And now you guys can see the Volt bike is moving a little bit differently from how it usually does. But now the best part about this is you guys can see it's able to go over ramps now and I'm actually able to use it on the mountains and hills and all of that stuff. So basically how the Volt Bike usually works is it's usually flat on the ground all the time, but this glitch basically removes that. Since we removed that system, you guys could see that I'm finally able to go over ramps now and I'm actually able to go off-roading. Obviously the physics are a little bit weird because this was made like three years ago now back in 2021 when the Volt Bike actually got revamped. But if you're just playing casually, then this glitch will probably be incredibly useful for you because obviously with the normal Volt Bike, you can't go off-roading. But like I said, using this glitch, it now enables that and you're actually able to go up ramps like you could see here. Usually I wouldn't be able to go up here and I'd just be stuck, but now using this glitch, I'm actually able to get out of there. Slight downside to this glitch though is it does make you a little bit slower because it does take a little bit longer to actually reach your top speed since you're a little bit less stable. But if you're just going on a road normally here, you guys could see I'm easily able to reach 200 miles per hour plus and it's still incredibly useful. You guys can see here, usually the Volt Bike wouldn't be able to come up this mountain, but now using this glitch, I'm actually able to come up here like a normal vehicle would, and you know, it's a lot better now. Now you guys are probably wondering how you actually disable this glitch, and it's actually incredibly simple. Literally all you do is you get off the Volt Bike and you get back on it. Like you guys can see here, I just hop off, get back on, and I'm no longer able to go off-roading anymore. But another really good thing that this glitch actually does is it basically makes your steering less stiff. Like with the new Volt Bike, without this glitch, it's actually very stiff to go turning and stuff. But when you activate this glitch here, you guys could see that turning is a lot easier. It's a lot quicker. It's, you know, a lot more sensitive. Depending on how you're playing the game, that might actually be incredibly useful. Like you guys could see there, I'm pretty much able to turn around here in the city a lot easier than I used to be able to with the normal Volt Bike. And like I said, unless you're a grinder and you're just trying to make a bunch of money, then this glitch will probably be incredibly useful. But you guys are probably also wondering now that you've disabled this Volt Bike glitch, how do I actually re-enable it when I've disabled it? And it's pretty much the exact same thing. You just use the jetpack while you're getting on it. You guys could see here if I'm jetpacking and I get on the Volt Bike, you guys could see now I have this glitch enabled. It's also the exact same thing when you're spawning in the Volt Bike. You guys could see here as long as I'm jetpacking and I'm not too high in the air, I'm actually able to activate the glitch right away. And now you guys can see I'm once again able to go straight over these mountains with literally no issues at all. Like I said earlier, the physics are a little bit weird, so you will probably have an increased chance of flipping over with this glitch enabled. But honestly, there are many more pros to having this enabled than there are cons, so honestly, that doesn't really matter much. And honestly, it's incredibly refreshing to finally have this old Volt Bike back, because with the new Volt Bike, as I said earlier, it's kind of stiff and weird, and it just doesn't really feel too good to drive. Not to mention, but it's also incredibly overpowered, and Asimo has been talking about removing it. See, I'm not too sure what Pedimo is actually going to do if they do end up removing the Volt Bike. Maybe we'll get some sort of replacement or something like that. Maybe they'll just end up putting the Volt Bike onto the new bike system, where as you guys could see here with something like the Falcon S or the Dirt Bike here, you guys could see it's a lot more realistic and it actually works like a normal bike. 
Because obviously when you're driving a bike in real life, your bike isn't stuck like this and unable to go up hills. And honestly, I don't really think a Volt bike revamp would be too bad. As I said earlier, it is incredibly unbalanced and probably extremely bad for the game. So chances are if Bidemo actually decides to revamp the Volt bike or completely remove it from the game, then the game will probably become a little bit better. But again, the Volt bike is also one of the most iconic vehicles in the entire game right now. Like I guarantee at least half of the entire community owns the Volt bike and knows what it is. Is. Even people that don't really play Jailbreak could probably recognize the Volt Bike from Jailbreak and say which game it's from, so removing it wouldn't really be a good idea for that. But at the same time, it is a good idea to remove the Volt Bike because, as I said earlier, it's incredibly unbalanced and not really good for the game. So yeah, for now, we're just gonna have to wait and see what Bedemo actually does with the Volt Bike and if they decide to remove it or not. But yeah, anyways, now that we have this new glitch that basically allows us to get the old Volt Bike back, let's go ahead and play around with it for a little bit to see how it actually affects the gameplay. First here, I'm going to go ahead and rob the casino. Let's go ahead and see how this actually affects something like the casino robbery. Obviously, I can't use it inside of the casino, but we'll see how it improves getting away from the casino and actually turning in my money. The code is 5033. I'm going to come over here to the keypad and enter that code in so I could get in here. Right, here we are inside the elevator now. Let's go ahead and get down here and actually take some cash. All right, so I've just gotten myself $8,000 from the vault here. Let's go ahead and turn it in now. Come over here to the elevator, press the button, and wait for it to come down. We got a total of 1 minute and 30 seconds. That is plenty of time. And let's go ahead and do this now. We're up here on the roof. Let's go ahead and use the jetpack. Spawn in a vault bike here if I could actually do it. Never mind, I can't spawn it in the air. I gotta come down here and do it here. There we go. I got the vault bike now. Now let's go ahead and turn this money in. Does it make it any faster? Let's go ahead and see here. I'm over here at the volcano base now honestly it's pretty much the exact same time and there's a cop over there okay and there we go eight thousand dollars plus the vip bonus that is pretty good and there's a cop over there so you know what i'm just gonna run in the completely other direction because i want to avoid a cop right now and not get arrested so yeah, as you guys just saw, the Volt Bike glitch doesn't really affect how long it takes to do the casino robbery, but for something like the power plant, it might improve that. As you guys can see though, the power plant isn't really open right now, so I can't really test it at the moment. But yeah, overall, this new Volt Bike glitch is definitely extremely useful. It makes getting around a lot quicker because obviously you could go off-roading now. Like I said at the start of the video, it's also incredibly easy to do. Literally, all you need is the Volt Bike and a jetpack. Yeah, it takes pretty much no effort to do, and like I said, it's also incredibly useful. But yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this new Volt Bike glitch, and also the Volt Bike possibly getting removed in the future. Just like usual, make sure to let us know down below in the comments what you guys think of that, and yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. And it's raining now, okay.